This is where it began. This is where the fuse was lighted. The dusty corner in an old neighborhood of modest homes and new low-priced apartments. It began with the arrest by white officers of the California Highway Patrol of two young Negroes, one on a charge of drunk driving, the other his brother, his passenger. Their mother, who lives nearby, came to the scene. There was an argument. There was a scuffle. By then, a crowd of several hundred Negroes had gathered. And the story of police brutality quickly spread through the community. Up the street, a block or so in that direction, a church where Negro leaders pleaded for peace and were rejected. Down that way, the busy intersection where cars were overturned and burned, where other cars were stoned, where a television technician was pulled from his wagon and almost beaten to death. It began with police and rioters clashing on a hot Wednesday night. Some believe it could have been stopped right then if law officers moved in in force and sealed off the area. Perhaps so, perhaps not. But within a matter of hours, it was completely out of hand. More than 1,500 people were in the streets, many hurling rocks and bottles at the police or anyone else, some attacking the cars of people, white or Negro, who just passed by. 15 citizens injured, 19 officers hurt, none seriously, 31 arrested, 12 juveniles. More than 100 police rushed to the area, sealing off eight square blocks in an effort at quarantine. The rioting subsided, then began all over again shortly before dawn. KNXT's camera car was hit by rock throwers early in the battle, then later tipped over by a mob of young men and set afire. Right of violence, of senseless stoning of cars and shops. And... Go, go ahead! Go ahead! number of stores broken into, liquor stores cleaned out by mobs. Geez, they really turned that thing over. Now they're going to burn it. It's all the way up. There it goes. for the first time, there was widespread looting and rioting in broad daylight. You'd see happy, laughing looters toting off furniture, clothing, even outboard motors. Finally, seven hours after Police Chief William Parker asked for the National Guard, Lieutenant Governor Glenn Anderson ordered in 2,000 troops. Block westbound traffic. Yeah, block westbound traffic's right there. Okay, swell. Okay, then. Uh, any questions on that? No, okay, no. take off. That's the first of the ones that go. Okay. Thank you. 
up on the other corner here, uh, hanging around as soon as the police leave where they run in and then we get a call back and they run out, but uh, met they're gone, they go in and out, loot. Okay, well, for the entire block or just... Uh, maybe a little patrol down that way and a little patrol this way. These people are just waiting until we leave. They're on the corners waiting until we leave to uh, go into these places. Okay, are, we'll take okay. care of it. morning as control of a sort was finally imposed. This evening Los Angeles remains hot, quiet, tense and dangerous and 28 people are dead. <laughs> 